welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new pregnancy update I haven't done one of these since I was like really early on in my first trimester so now that I am at I'm gonna be 26 weeks tomorrow but now that I've passed like the 25 week stage I thought that I would start doing kind of weekly or bi-weekly updates for you guys I did that when I was pregnant with my um, firstborn and I really like just having uh, those videos to go back on to see like the difference between my pregnancies and also show you guys kind of the different symptoms and i know a lot of people search for pregnancy videos and symptoms and bump dates and stuff like that so today i'm doing a pregnancy or 24 to 25 weeks pregnancy symptom slash um, bump date and things that i have found helpful and just how i'm feeling in general just update and um showing you guys kind of like a couple things that I find useful and that help me. <sighs> I feel like I really need to breathe. <laughs> Can't breathe. Um, all right, let me first start off with reading my app. I have the What to Expect app that I'm literally like, I swear by. And I'm gonna read, so baby is this as big as an eggplant. And then the baby, it says, is 1.5 pounds, 13 inches, and I have 15 weeks to go. So like I said, I am 26 weeks tomorrow, so I'm still 25 weeks, but I wanted to update like 24, 25 weeks or, you know, previous weeks. Not much has changed. It's just um, a lot has changed since my first trimester. So this week, or 24 weeks and 25 weeks, I feel like i've noticed that i feel really pregnant finally i feel like before hitting like 25 weeks 24 25 weeks and now gearing towards more 30 weeks i um a couple weeks ago i really didn't feel that pregnant i had like barely any symptoms and um now it, the symptoms are kind of coming at me and i'm actually pretty much wearing maternity clothes now i feel like the belly just like popped really fast like overnight I've been feeling the baby kicks a lot last week and then this week I feel like they've really kind of slowed down and I read that um, babies start to really grow at this point and have less room in the belly and they're maybe not as active or you don't notice the movements as much. I definitely feel him more like during the day now that I, than I ever have. And then at night, I feel like the movements have kind of settled down a little bit. So sometimes at night, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like telling my husband, is the baby okay? I don't feel him moving, but I read that that's perfectly normal. I'm going to my 28-week um, glucose testing appointment in two weeks. So I will definitely be updating you guys on that. Hopefully, everything will look good and I'll pass and um other than that i'll just get on with the symptoms at 24 and 25 weeks pregnant the symptoms are becoming uh, some of them are becoming a little bit not fun my husband and my toddler and i we go on nightly walks and we have like a trail and we usually go on a two mile walk every single night and yesterday was the first day that it really hit me like how hard it is to walk now because normally I've been walking with no problems and I I'm like fine walking and not getting as tired but last night I had the worst like lower back and kind of like stomach pain it was so bad and I think it's because my stomach is getting so much bigger and it's growing everything is stretching so I'm definitely feeling that I actually just ordered a belly band on Amazon. I will, you guys should follow me on Instagram because I always up, put like new things and updates on there, put my outfits and like maternity things, must haves, toddler must haves, like stuff for the house. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not following me on here. And um, anyway, yeah, I ordered a belly band yesterday. I did not think I needed one until yesterday when we went on a walk and I was just in so much pain literally like could barely finish the walk and just everything my stomach felt so heavy and my legs started hurting i was just a hot mess i'm like wow i really am feeling being pregnant now and what other symptoms 
I have still been pretty thirsty and drinking a ton of water. I have my big gallon water bottle that I try to drink every single day. I'm almost a little more than halfway done today, but I fill this up every single night and I drink this all throughout the day. And that's basically the only thing I drink besides I usually have like a cup and a half of coffee every single morning. But I try to drink this because another symptom that I had with my firstborn that is now hitting me pretty hard is heartburn so water is like the only thing that really helps and i honestly like get such bad heartburn to the point where i just want to like throw up and it's so uncomfortable to the point where i have to like sometimes take tums and that might not even help so i have to either lay down or just like i can't even eat anything and just i literally just chug water so heartburn has been kind of one of those symptoms that hit me at 24 slash like 25 weeks that's like a newer symptom and um i've heard that heartburn is due to the baby's hair like grayson was born with a lot of hair so i heard that if you have really bad heartburn it's because they have a lot of hair so or your baby's gonna have a lot of hair i literally always want to like sit down and tell you guys everything but I feel like I have such bad pregnancy brain, which is another symptom, pregnancy brain. I forget literally everything. If I don't write it down, I forget it. Like if I don't make a grocery list, I forget everything that we even go to the grocery store for or anything that I'm like, sometimes I run into the house for something and I'm like, wait, why did I even come in here for? Like my pregnancy brain is so bad, you guys. I just like can't even. And then, oh, insomnia. I had this in my first trimester and that has carried on to now i sleep pretty well for the most part but if i wake up in the middle of the night or like early in the morning i cannot fall back asleep and then the baby starts kicking and moving and i just like cannot sleep to save my life so that's been pretty fun what else um let's show you guys my um what i use for my belly i've been using this pretty much my whole pregnancy and um just like for stretch marks and stuff and that's another thing um what was i gonna say another thing for my belly so you get like growing pains like pregnancy pains and your belly just starts like literally hurting where um a lot of you guys probably have experienced this if you're a second time mom or if you're pregnant right now where you're experiencing this but it like literally feels like your stomach is being like stretched or your muscles are being stretched and it's so painful and um yeah that's been not very fun but i don't get that super often just like every i don't know every few days i would say and then i also have been getting some braxton hicks contractions which have also not been the most fun it's like every every symptom that you kind of just like forget with your if you've been pregnant before and it's just coming back you're like oh dang like i don't remember the symptom i forgot what it felt like but that's what i'm experiencing now but for the most part it's been pretty easy and i'm really blessed and lucky to have a pretty good pregnancy like i did with my first pregnancy i literally i cannot complain about a lot of like at all because i know a lot of women have it way worse than me so for the most part i'm pretty comfortable and just have like those normal pregnancy symptoms anyway before i like make this video super long and keep jabbering on about random stuff i'm gonna show you the oils that i ordered on the amazon for my belly so i got this um, Burt's bees mama bee belly butter and it has shea butter and vitamin e so i put this on first and it's just like a lotion so i rub this on my belly also put it like all over my hips and everything and then i also put this on top it's just the same brand birds bees mama bee nourishing body oil vitamin e i really like having these two putting like kind of at the same time i just feel like it gives it the extra moisture and really i honestly don't think anything gets rid of stretch marks but i i think it helps just moisturizing i think it's all just hereditary and i never really had stretch marks with my firstborn except for like around my hips because i gained so much weight so fast so i had like little stretch marks on my hips but other than that i don't 
I never really get them on my stomach, but I don't know how it's going to be this pregnancy. I'm not like that big to the point yet, so I don't know. And then I also, this is like almost gone, like literally almost gone. This is my favorite oil. It smells so good. This came in my bump, bump box and it's Promise Pregnancy Skin Care Defense and Repair Bump Oil Stretch Mark Treatment. I'm not sure if you can find this online somewhere. I'm sure you can, but it smells so good and I use this all the time. And so it's always out. Literally put this on every time I get out of the shower when your skin is really like the pores are open and you're just like your skin is very soft and I put this on right away just so it moisturizes it and keeps it nice and healthy and um, what else okay show you guys my vitamins I use these really simple ones from Target they're just like the up and up prenatal brand I used them with my first pregnancy super easy like literally they're cheaper and they do the trick and then I got these new ones that just I haven't even opened them yet in my bump boxes they're just like regular prenatal vitamins they have they're diet free gluten free non GMO and they just look like this I haven't started taking them yet because I'm still kind of finishing this bot um, bottle and then this is something I've been taking along with my normal vitamins they're almost gone you just take a little pill one a day and it works with your just normal prenatal vitamin you just take one with it it's dual prenatal immunity and it's designed to work with your prenatal vitamin to do more healthy immune foundation for mom and baby supports natural defenses during pregnancy and lasting effects on baby's immunity so this is just like if you want to go the extra mile and like take something more with your prenatal vitamin it just i guess does um does like or supports the natural immune defenses with lasting effects for baby. It just like goes your extra mile to help with your vitamin. Okay, my legs are starting to freeze up. Whew. Okay, speaking of legs, I've been getting such bad Charlie horses. I got these so bad with my first pregnancy. And literally like your, oh, your legs just like freeze up or numb. And um, when I'm laying in bed, especially when you were laying in bed for a long time, like at night um i get the worst charlie horses in my legs and it hurts so bad <sighs> i think those are pretty much it for the symptoms that i've been having i have also something else to show you that i've had during my first pregnancy and i'm using it again i just took this out and i took this out a couple weeks ago and it's my pregnancy pillow. I will link it for you guys from Amazon. It's my favorite one. I actually am just washing the cover because it comes out. It's really convenient to have something that you can just like unzip and wash because it's white and it gets dirty. And my toddler loves sleeping in this with me, like just napping and stuff. He just, in the mornings, he climbs in here and just gets all snuggled up and it's so cute. So this was really cheap on Amazon. You don't need a super expensive one. But I really love this one because it's just so versatile. You can move it around. You can put it in the living room or anywhere with me. And it really just gives me that extra support at night. And it's just like a nice snuggly pregnancy pillow. And I really like it. I don't think my husband loves it as much just because it takes up so much space. And I'm always cuddling with the pillow instead of him. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I hope I covered everything, but that's pretty much it for my pregnancy symptoms so far. Like I said, just been getting like heartburn, thirsty. Um, I also feel kind of bloated too, and my face is getting a little bit more puffy, but I don't know if I'm just like, I haven't really gained that much weight. I feel like I've gained less this pregnancy than I did with my first pregnancy because I've been a lot healthier and I've been more active. I've been working out and going on nightly walks with my toddler and my husband. So overall, I'm a lot healthier than I was with my first, but I still feel like a lot more bloated. Just like everything just feels like you just feel different when you're pregnant. And I feel like after you kind of surpass that 25 week stage, 
um, in your pregnancy, you really start feeling a lot more different, if that makes sense. And you feel a lot more pregnant, obviously, because the baby is growing and everything in your body is growing. Your boobs are growing and leaking boobs. I forgot to mention that the boobs are leaking. <laughs> Sorry if it's TMI, but I mean, it's normal. Um, yeah, I think that's all for my pregnancy symptoms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are pregnant, congratulations to you. I know it's such an exciting time in your life and I hope you're not getting uh, that many bad symptoms of pregnancy, but it is uh, a really fun time in your life and I just hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you're just watching this video because you wanna see what symptoms you have at 24 or 25 weeks, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I hope yeah, you guys have a great rest of your week. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or anything down below. You guys are always welcome to come to my Instagram. I'm on there all the time. If you guys have any questions or comments, or if you want to see any like outfit ideas or anything. And then also I'm going to show you my bump closer up in the mirror without the jumpsuit. Um, Cause I want to do that like toward the end of every video, just so you guys can see kind of like the belly progression growth of my weekly belly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video and yeah, thanks for watching, bye guys. All right, you guys, I hope you can see this clear, but this is the belly at almost 26 weeks pregnant, 25 weeks. getting pretty big can definitely tell I'm pregnant yep it's the belly baby boy is pretty big <laughs> Say